Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will test an all electric air handler that is giving low delta T or low temperature rise. Turn the unit on, allow it to run for five minutes. We are going to set our tester to amps. Once the unit has been running for five minutes on emergency heat, we are going to identify our heating circuits. To identify how many heating circuits, circuits there are, you just look at the limit switches here. You see a limit switch on top, a limit switch directly underneath it. Each one of those means you're going to have, this one's going to have two circuits because there's two limit switches. All we need to do is amp out any of the wires on this circuit. The circuit starts here, goes through the heating element, comes out here, through our limit switch, which is our safety, out the red wire, completing the circuit. The easiest place for me to test this is here. I'm going to be looking for an amp reading of about 18 to 22, the average being 20. So we test that wire. You can only test one wire at a time with an amp clamp to work properly. Check this wire. Uh, let's pretend that the first wire gave us 20 amps and the bottom wire gave us none. Um, we would follow this bottom wire to the heat sequencer. Next, we take our tester, move it to volts AC. We're going to check this heat sequencer and make sure it is getting the low voltage. The very bottom is where the low voltage comes in. Be careful if your unit is running. This is all going to have 220 in it. We test the two terminals on the very bottom looking for 24 volts. If there is 24 volts being provided there, and we have no amps coming out of the heat sequencer, the heat sequencer is probably bad. Uh, go to the Super Cool Slide Reel website, watch the tutorial titled Heat Sequencer Troubleshooting. That concludes our tutorial on an air auto electric unit with low delta T. Thanks for watching. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.